Hey y'all, it's Alec, the Road Warrior Prepper. Today we're gonna to talk about cash and why you need to be using cash instead of debit cards and credit cards for your spending. Have you ever heard the old saying? My grandfather used to say it all the time. Cash is king. And you're about to learn, learn why. Cash transactions do not leave a digital trail. What does that mean? It means you have privacy. Third parties, like the grocery stores, Amazon, uh, gas stations, they can't track what you're spending your money on and how much you're spending it on. Like if I went to the gas station every day and bought a six pack of beer or a pack of cigarettes. I don't smoke, but let's just use this for an example. So I do this every day and all of a sudden the government is gonna do everything they can to curtail cigarettes or the use of them. Then they can use the data gained through your credit cards, through your digital transactions, to target you to put a stop to what you're spending money on. And it's gonna get worse if we switch over to complete digital currency. The other thing is, uh, you know, third parties tracking us. So, we've got a credit card or a debit card, and we use this at, let's say, HEB grocery store, which is one of my favorite grocery stores down in Texas. So we use our credit card or debit card at HEB, and we are buying lots and lots of meat. And the companies, I think underneath the direction of the government, wants us to now start using or buying beyond meat plant-based meat insect-based meat then they can use the information gained through our digital currency use being credit card or debit card to send us coupons offers encouraging us uh, news stories encouraging us to get away from traditional protein-based meats and go to this factory-made, lab science-made uh, fake meat and no telling what they're putting in that. And you go, well, how can they do that from my debit card? Because we've all used our debit credit cards on our phones, on our computers. We take our phones with us, we take our tablets with us. We are interlocked through GPS with all that stuff. We probably have the HEB app and more than likely our credit card is linked to that app. And so they're able to use all that information they're gathering through us, about us, voluntarily from us to then target us to try to change our behavior can't do that with cash with cash they have no idea who we are we still have our phones with us they know we went to the store but at this point with current technology I don't believe they're able to put us and our products together if we use cash privacy number two privacy by using cash, we have direct control over our money. There's no way the banks, the processing centers, the government can then curtail our buying habits by uh, delaying the transaction or blocking a transaction. I mean, they've got so many, so much ability to 
shape our lives. I don't think they're quite doing it yet, but I can see a point in the near future where the banks underneath the direction of the government can say, Billy Bob has bought four two liter sodas this month. That's his limit and they'll block the transaction after that. With cash, at this point, we still have privacy and control. With cash, number three, with cash, you can make anonymous transactions. I can buy a gun from my neighbor. I can buy a car from my neighbor. I can buy fresh produce. I can buy chicken. I can buy half a cow. I can buy whatever I want anonymously with cash. Not if you use a credit card or a digital payment of some sort. So there's a lot of things in our life we want to be anonymous of. Alcohol. You know, they're really trying to curtail alcohol, cigarette use, the amount of meat we eat. I mean, they're trying to control everything. But with cash, you can make anonymous purchases. Number four, security against cyber threats. What does that mean? That means they can't hack our cash. They can't steal our identity or the information for our bank account if we're using cash. Cash is secure. The more transactions you make online, the larger the chance is that your information, your credit card information, your bank account, your routing numbers, your identity can be stolen. You don't have any of those scenarios if you're using cash. Number five, no fees. Cash can literally save you money. So if you go to the gas station, you see where cash price is $3.19 a gallon. Saw this a lot of Texas. Cash $3.19, credit card transaction $3.29. Literally, when we were in Texas down in Rockport, we saved 10 cents a gallon by using cash. The other day, I went in to McDonald's of all places here in Montana, and there was a 4% fee for using a debit card. I didn't have any cash on me. Quick trip at lunch from work, 4%. Think about how much money you're wasting. Now we did go into Yellowstone. There's a big sign that says credit card preferred, no cash payments. And uh, I looked at him, I said, you know, the National Park Service is a part of the federal government. On this $20 bill I'm handing you, it says that, and I'll, I'll get one when I get back to the camper and read it to you. It says that this is to be used as legal tender for transactions. And I'll read exactly what it says. They cannot deny the use of cash. I know a few months ago we were at a restaurant they said, ah, uh, because of germs and stuff being trans uh, back and forth, we don't accept cash. I said, well, that's against the law. I put the cash down with the young lady's tip on the table and we left. You know, you cannot, they cannot not accept cash. But I think the different 
some of the different agencies in the government, you know, they, information is power. And so they're discouraging the use of cash. I think there is going to be a day soon when everything's going to be a digital and the government's just going to do away with cash because they want to be able to collect information about you and they can't do it if you're using cash. Plus they say that it costs the government so much money to print the cash. Hogwash. They want control. Independence of technology is the next reason. What does that mean? It means you're not subject to blackouts, brownouts. Um, I'll give you an example. When we were in Rockport this past winter, the cell phone towers in the area went down. If y'all remember first, it was Verizon was out for like six or eight hours. And then the next week, AT&T, sorry for all the wind, AT&T went down. A lot of those towers and stuff are used for transmitting data that used to be done on hard lines. We had to close the campground store. None of nothing worked. The gas station could not accept credit cards. But if you had cash, not interrupted. I could still buy stuff from the grocery store. I can still buy stuff from my neighbor. You can still operate without all the technology if you had to. If all you've got is that plastic card with your name and 13 digits on it, then you're SOL. And lastly, cash is still universally accepted. You don't have to have special equipment to accept cash. You can accept cash in remote locations. You can accept cash on Billy Bob's farm. Cash is still the most widely accepted, not the most widely used, but most widely accepted form of payment hands down, period. I just can't tell you enough how much more secure your life is when you're using cash. And as things heat up around the world, and I totally believe that we have a government that is working against us that you need to utilize every tool that you have to protect yourself and cash is that tool so i told you when i got back to the camper i would pull out a some cash and it says this note is legal tender for all debts public and private see it right there So how do you make the switch from digital currency, credit cards, debit cards, um, to cash? So as you can see, here's a group of $5 bills, okay? I try to go to the ATM once a month because our bank is in Texas. Okay, it's a Texas-based bank. We're in Montana. <clears throat> I'll go to the ATM, withdraw three, four hundred dollars, whatever the limit is, and then you know I may have to do that two or three times to get what we need. And then I have built up several months worth of cash, and then I'm able to spend the month paying with cash. So. The only digital imprint with this method that the government has is that they know I'm in West Yellowstone, you know? But if we go over to Idaho Falls, like we went to Idaho Falls to go grocery shopping the other day, I'll go through an ATM machine that 
uh, doesn't charge a fee if I can find one for my bank and then I'll make a withdrawal there and we will probably go shopping there because where we are now there are no real grocery stores they're all little um, tiny little shops that have just the bare minimums like you know super red or something like that and if we go up to Bozeman I'll do the same thing so the government will know a general area that we're located but may not know our exact location and then I get cash and then we use that for two weeks and then next time we go somewhere I'll go get some more cash and then I always try to get a little bit more than I need I put it aside so that I have three to six months worth of cash on hand I also do this um, when I'm back home I will go by the bank and get a larger amount of cash so if you're not traveling like me let's say you live in Columbia South Carolina and you use Navy Federal Credit Union as your bank you can go by Navy Federal Credit Union take out a thousand dollars take out fifteen hundred dollars I know that you know where we work they only do direct deposits because there's campgrounds all across the nation and they have one home office so um, if you want to check it costs you and they'll FedEx the check to you from their office but it's not worth it for that I have it all dumped into my bank account and then I take cash out as needed so that's my tip for the day be careful, do everything you can to protect your privacy and to protect your family. Until next time, y'all stay safe out there and see you down the road.